since last year Sundance and winning it, it has been like, whoa, like crazy travel. And then I had like um, three weeks last summer to rest in Estonia. And what did I do? We made short film sauna day. <laughs> I think what is the um, uniting uh, thing between those two is uh, how smoke sauna as a safe space, as a canvas to explore human relationship, human connection, intimacy, when smoke sauna sisterhood is more focusing on giving that space for women to really voice out everything without any filters, then here we are exploring the unsaid. The themes that Sauna Day also deals with, it's to do with uh, masculinity, toxic masculinity, or uh, the more kind of nuanced approach to masculinity. And those are themes that uh, I have also explored in my previous work. And over here, it was a um, really fascinating experience to explore it along with Anna, because she really, uh, from her own experience with also Smokes on a Sister, where she was really able to bring um, uh, a very interesting di dimension to that topic. So for me, who had maybe explored those topics a bit on my own before, but now to do it along with another person who uh, was able to expand my own idea about gender, my own idea about my own masculinity or my own uh, non-masculinity also, that was a very interesting experience to be able to, in this small film, to be able to collaborate on both those elements as well. Also in Estonia, uh, showing uh, smoke on a sisterhood, there have been so many um, men who define themselves men and they're like, you know, I remember especially the first time that one person from audience stood up and was like, how is that that, you know, men also go to sauna, to smoke sauna, but uh, we talk about the bullshit, not about the real shit, you know, and then devoid intimacy. And that's what I've been telling everyone that, you know, the problem is in the patriarchal mindset that actually goes beyond genders. We are all suffering because of that. And it tells us how to fit into certain boxes and how to avoid that intimacy and vulnerability. We all need that connection actually. And, and often think that there is like an easy way uh, that can it be comfortable? Can it be like um, without opening up ourselves up without risking our hearts, but it's not ever mm. possible. Mm. So I also encourage, and I've been also in Estonian media encouraging that, you know, that real strength is in the power to be vulnerable. The emotions of Sauna Day uh, take place not in the dialogues, but in the silence, which is its own kind of dialogue, through gestures, glances, body language, not through words, but a new, but, but its own language. And that also shows how these two men are able to they switch codes when they are when they're participating in society. They're talking. Uh, what is the conversation that bonds them to the other men? And when the men leave, when our characters are on their own, then they have then they have their own language, which comes into uh, activation once they're on their own. And what was fascinating, and uh, like again, like I'm very drawn to get inspired by these rituals and then like reverse them and uh, like there is the ritual of Wichting that is also that became like a language mm. this Wichting with this you know mm. birch, birch tree and that Wichting as just an a ritual is very accepted in that in that society but how how to um, make that as a language that goes beyond that and 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 I think this communication and how communication is possible and how also people do not communicate or find the ways how to communicate. Um, I'm lo looking for cinema that goes visceral, that comes to your body, that is like something that is, you know, only be expressed through audiovisual form. Like in that way, like script also is always very, it's like just one step for me. It's never like the actual film, you know, and they do, it's like how to, and how to be ready to explore them 
something that you didn't think about. You create the space for miracles to happen and then have to capture that. So it's always like um, script is just like kind of like a map of something where something else and something more can be born. Well, I, so I come from smoke zone and culture and I have been fascinated by this space also like visually, like the light. I always feel that I'm like inside Caravaggio painting. That's my perception, my relationship to smoke sauna. It's very specific light because because of the smoke, uh, all the walls are uh, dark and the light comes from small window and it's a bit smoky. So there are particles in the air and, and it's like, it's very, very special. The question was not how to put our light onto the, that space, but how to really sensitively capture that miracle also in light that is there. What was the challenge was that because the temperatures of a smoke sauna are such that you can actually only enter there with one microphone. Our sound recordist for the location was also our sound designer, Tanel Kadalik. After we'd done the edit on the sound design, he started really building the atmosphere of the sauna. And that's also where the experience matters, that the way we also built the design is that, uh, the sound is that as the sauna experience goes longer and longer and longer, the sound also of the sauna changes. You start hearing more details in different ways, you know, because as the sweat starts to come, then you start hearing uh, the dropping of the sweat on certain surfaces. Uh, so that also requires an experience. It's not just like, okay, this is the sauna atmosphere, but how to use the sauna atmosphere in a sub, sub, subconscious way that takes you deeper and deeper into the humidity of it. Mm -hmm.